I'm a strong believer in American innovation. Um, I believe that innovation is really a key to our uh, future national security, prosperity, uh, uh, our, our well-being, our ability to shape events to protect our values and interests. Uh, the global landscape is changing. We're being technologically challenged. Um, I believe the service on the Hertz board is uh, perhaps the best way we can to identify the young people who are actually going to innovate and, and actually provide this kind of technical leadership to the United States. And in fact, these young men and young women are, are uh, like they, they, they talk about scary smart. They're really scary smart. And I, I thank heavens they're not allowed to turn the tables on us and ask us questions because I think I would come away with a pretty bruised ego. Um, I was just doing an interview in January um, of a young man and uh, I asked him, um, uh, I had just seen something that a company called Liquid Robotics uh, has made and is applying to the, the, to the DOD and they uh, and at that time, I was the vice president and dean of research at the Naval Postgraduate School. And uh, Liquid Robotics had just gifted two of these wave gliders to uh, NPS for its research. The wave glider is something which uh, you put out in the ocean and it translates um, uh, the up and down uh, wave motion into uh, horizontal motion in a direction of your choosing. And I, it took me a little while to cotton on to the physical principle of it and it was very, very clever. And uh, so I asked this, this fellow, and he thought not for more than two seconds, and he came up with the, the exact physical principle. I was completely stunned. And it was very simple. He said I would make a little uh, raft with a boom going down and then a series of, of Venetian blind uh, uh, fo uh, foils. And when the wave was going up, I would tip the foils up and it would pull the thing forward. When the wave began to go down, I would tip the, uh, the, the foils down, the hydrofoils down, and again, it would go forward. I was completely stunned. Now, in his favor, he was a, a rower, and I think a person like that has a leg up on that kind of problem. But that's the kind of thing, you know, these people are, uh, are, are uh, really just uh, frighteningly smart. You know, that's, I think, one thing that sets Hertz apart. I've not been to the, the retreats or the special meetings they've had, uh, except for the yearly symposia or the biannual uh, symposia where they, uh, they have speakers in and so forth, including many uh, successful Hertz fellows who've done marvelous things and come to, to give lectures about it. You do see that they have built up a sense of community there, and I think that's part of the secret sauce of what uh, is, uh, it, it makes Hertz special and uh, why Hertz Fellows do very interesting things together going forward into the decades after their graduate studies, and why I think they feel an allegiance to Hertz uh, and have been so generous in supporting the Hertz Foundation.